Hong Kong officers interview Indonesian helper in abuse case. State of emergency in Bangkok amid anti-government protests. And defending champ Novak Djokovic crashes out of the Australian Open. Good evening. Hong Kong Police and Labor Department officers went to a hospital in central Java this morning to take a statement from an Indonesian domestic helper. The woman is receiving treatment there for multiple injuries after being allegedly abused by her employer in Hong Kong. As Jenny Lam reports, she told the officers she'll return to the territory to help with the investigation into the case. The suspect linked to the, to the abuse case was taken to a flat in Chen Kueno as the police investigation continues. Vicky Kung has that story. Overseas, a 60-day state of emergency will take effect in Bangkok and surrounding provinces from tomorrow. This expands the power of security forces to issue orders and search, arrest and detain people. Opposition demonstrators today targeted more government offices in Bangkok in their protest against Thai caretaker Prime Minister Ying Lak Sinawat. They marched to the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment. Protesters also threatened staff at the Department of Special Investigation, working at a backup location in the capital. They forced workers to leave the building and suspend operations. The campaign by the opposition to shut down Bangkok is now in its second week. Tonight, the Hong Kong government raised the travel alert for Bangkok to black. Local residents are urged to avoid travelling to the Thai capital. The Olympic torch arrived in Volgograd yesterday, the Russian city where suicide bombings killed 34 people last month. This comes as Russia's counterterrorism agency studies a video posted by an Islamic militant group that claims responsibility for the attack. Here's Alan Buknir. Iran is no longer invited to take part in talks to be held in Switzerland tomorrow on Syria's future. The controversy over whether there should be an Iranian presence in the talks highlights the difficulty in negotiating an end to the conflict between the Syrian government and the opposition. Tony Sabine has more. Back locally, Chief Executive Leung Chuning today stressed that members of his administration are unanimous in its philosophy on financial management. He said top officials all agree on the principle that resources should be used to alleviate poverty while looking after the needs of middle-income families. Jenny Lam reports. Wards at public hospitals are overcrowded as Hong Kong is in the peak season for flu. The hospital authority has adopted measures to cope with the situation, including delaying non-emergency surgical procedures. Jenny Lam again. Sports and in tennis, Stanislas Wawrinka has knocked defending champion Novak Djokovic out of the Australian Open, ending his campaign for a fourth title in a row. The and tonight's winning Mark 6 numbers are... 8, 20, 23, 34, 37, 49, and the extra number is 44. A look at the weather before we go. It'll be fine and very dry, cold overnight, with a low of 11 degrees in the urban areas and a few degrees lower in the new cherry trees. The high temperature tomorrow will reach 16 degrees. The outlook, mainly fine and dry on Thursday, the mercury rising in the latter part of the week. That's all from the newsroom for now. Thanks for joining us. Good night.